when karma catches up to the narcissist. When they finally get their just desserts. When they finally get the punishment that they deserve. The narcissist acts like they're untouchable. They act like they are unable to be touched or affected. As though they cannot be punished, criticized or changed in any way. But what happens when karma catches up to them? Because no one can escape karma. Where there is a cause, there is an effect. Their reckless behaviors produce a secondary, indirect and cumulative effect which comes back to get them. They think that their actions demonstrate that they are invincible. As though they are too powerful to be defeated or overcome. But the irony is that karma is the result of their own actions. Because if you give the narcissist enough rope, they will hang themselves. They will shoot themselves in the foot. Which is why they targeted you in the first place. You were their source of supply. You provided them with a sense of stability and security. You enabled them to do the things that they do. And when karma was catching up to them, they deflected it onto you. You may remember many occasions where you suffered the consequences of their actions because that's another reason why they targeted you. They knew that you were a mature, responsible person. They knew that you would be willing to step in when they made a fault or mistake. Narcissists want to have the authority of a parent, but they also want to have the accountability of a child. They want to be able to do whatever they want without ever facing the consequences of their actions. Which is why when you are around them, you will rarely ever see them getting their karma. When you are around them, you will be left to deal with that. You will experience suffering and misfortune, no matter how hard you try to make things right. Because they're the ones who are benefiting from all of your hard work. while you're left to deal with the consequences of what they're doing. Which makes it easy for the narcissist to point the finger at you and claim that you're nothing without them. It allows them to portray this image to people that everything is going right for them while you can't do anything right. And they use this to target your self-esteem. They use it to make you feel insecure, to make you think that you need them. When the truth is that they needed you more than you ever needed them, which is why when you leave the narcissist, or if they're careless enough to discard you, 
that is when you will see karma catching up to them. It's only when they're alone that they are forced to face the consequences of their actions, which is why they never want to be alone. They're always looking for a distraction. They're always looking for help and support because deep down they know that it's only a matter of time until karma catches up to them. But they understand that as long as they're around people, they can dodge the consequences of their actions. But they're not always around people. There are situations where the narcissist is left to their own devices, where they haven't got anyone at their beck and call. And that is when karma will be doing its work on them. That is when they will be suffering the effects of their actions. But you won't always see it. You won't always be aware of it. It may look like they're having a great time without you. Or you won't hear anything from them at all. Because narcissists are masters of manipulation. They're illusionists. They are experts at orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. So even if they're going through something, you may never know about it. Because they will conceal it from you. They're not going to let you see that because they don't want to give you the satisfaction They want you to think everything's fine and dandy. But trust and believe that they are going through it. They are getting their karma. And they've been getting it their entire lives. Just remember when you were with them. All of the good times in the beginning were completely fake. They were just manipulating you. They led you to believe something that was not true. They gave you a false impression. And then it was only a matter of time until you saw the real person under the mask. Narcissists can never be happy. They can never be satisfied with anything. So although they may be painted a picture of something, although they may be describing or showing something in a particular way, you should know that it isn't real. Just remember how they were when they were with you. No matter how much you did for them, they were never happy. Yet they portrayed this image to other people that everything was okay. Or they passed the blame onto you when accountability is the key to our happiness. People who are always looking for ways to dodge accountability are never going to be happy. Because it's only when you self-reflect that you can finally be at peace with yourself. And although they may think that their ability to evade the consequences of their actions is a strength, it's actually a part of their karma. Because it's preventing them from achieving happiness and success. In some situations, 
you may be aware that karma is catching up to the narcissist. And in those situations, they may try to downplay it. They may act like it doesn't affect them. Or they will try to direct the focus onto you. And exaggerate anything that you might be going through. In these situations, they will exaggerate your disadvantages and minimize their own. Even though theirs could be far worse, they have to maintain the sense of superiority as though they're better than you. But there are situations where the narcissist is forced to accept that they're in an unfavorable situation. And that is when they will play the victim role. They will act as though you did something to them. They will blame you for their karma. And they will use it as an opportunity to tear you down. They will stalk and harass you. They will start a smear campaign. They will say horrible things about you to anyone who will listen. When karma catches up to the narcissist, they're not going to see it as though it's the result of something that they've done. They're not going to look at their own actions and see the true cause of it. They're going to see it as though you've done something to them and they're going to blame you for it. If anything undesirable happens to the narcissist, someone has to be to blame. It can never be them. When karma catches up to them, they're just going to do what they always do. They're going to deny it. They're going to shift the blame onto you. They're going to project their insecurities onto you. And they're going to gaslight you. They are not going to accept the responsibility for their actions. So naturally, they're not going to accept the consequences that come along with it. When karma catches up to the narcissist, you may not see it. You may not hear about it. But that does not mean they're not going through it. The narcissist may not want you to know. Narcissists only do what benefits them. They will only reveal it to you if they think that it's going to benefit them in some way. But just because they didn't reveal it to you, it doesn't mean that it isn't happening. They will often use it as an opportunity to play the victim role so that they can turn people against you and sabotage your success. Whenever a narcissist is trying to get to you, that means that they are facing the consequences of their actions. That means that karma has caught up to them. But even when you don't hear from them, They may just not want you to know. Because they don't want to give you the satisfaction. They don't want to feel like you got one over the, on them. They don't want to feel like you came out on top. 
and as long as they can keep it hidden from you. They won't feel the full effect of that. But whether the narcissist is trying to hide it from you, or if they're playing the victim role, trust and believe that karma has caught up to them. If you give the narcissist enough rope, they will hang themselves. They will shoot themselves in the foot. But someone always has to be to blame for their downfall. Because they can never look at themselves long enough to realize that their own choices and decisions led them to where they are now. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.arcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.